Hi YouTubers, it's Roxanne from Roxas Cards and Crafts and admin from Facebook group Cricut Expression. I'm bringing you part three for using Shortcuts A Lot 5 with your Cricut Expression and today we're going to learn how to install LibCutter. What is LibCutter? LibCutter is the third party plugin that you will need to install in for your Shortcuts Lot 5 that you've already purchased to recognize your Cricut expression. Now I'll show you, I'll just start. So what we need to do is I'll just show you why this needs to happen. So this is my Shortcuts A Lot 5, but I haven't, I've uninstalled it from my computer so that I can show you today. Um, and I've been using Shortcuts A Lot 5 with my expression machine since 2018. If you go up to Cutter, and I want you to do this before you install LibCutter to get used to it. Go to Cutter, then My Cutter, and then Manage Cutters. And in this dialog box, you have to go over to the company and the brand. Now, Shortcuts A Lot 5 is used for a wide variety of different electronic die cutting machines, not just the expression. With our old legacy machines, we can cut directly from our Shortcuts A Lot 5 to our hooked up expression. If you have a newer Cricut, say the Explore Air 2 or the Maker, you will not be able to cut directly from Shortcuts A Lot 5. However, you can design in Shortcuts A Lot 5 and export it to Design Space. So, for using it as a direct cut, uh, this is excellent. So getting back to this dialog box, here we have the cutter and we've got nothing in the list. We have to go over to the company and brand and press that drop down arrow and go to the C's and see if you can see Cricut. Well, I can tell you now, you will not be able to see it. All right, so in order for you to be able to see Cricut and to add it over here to the left, we need to install LibCutter. All right. So I'm just going to go through, I'll just close that. And I've got a few things prepared. So if you're following the link that I provide to the description below, you'll have LibCutter installed in no time and you'll be cutting with your Cricut Expression. There are a few forums and everything out there, uh, but I've got the up-to-date version of the LibCutter that you now, need. I'm using install. Window 10 for this tutorial today, but Scale 5 can be used with a Mac operating system of Catalina. If you've got an older Mac, you'll need to uh, install or purchase Shortcuts A Lot 4. But the process is still the same. You will still need to install your LibCutter following uh, my links. Your firmware for your Cricut Expression needs to be a minimum of version 2.34. I'm using a firmware of 2.43 because I was able to update my Cricut Expression with the last ever update from Cricut Craft Room before it disappeared. Uh, you can't go past version 2.34 with Design Studio. So 
So updating your Cricut's firmware to version 2.34, I'll give you a link down below for the trial version of Design Studio. I've also got a tutorial part one which asks you how to determine what the firmware is of your Cricut expression and part two shows you how to install Design Studio to update your Cricut expression to version 2.34. It seems like a lot but really it isn't. It's all quite fast. If you want to come over to a Facebook group, Cricket Expression, where I'm the admin, I'm helping hundreds and hundreds of people a day that are coming over to this Facebook group for the, because they've all bought up um, the Cricket Expression machines because everyone's going out and updating. But for those who need help with the Cricket 1, not the Expression 2, but the Expression 1 where I uh, let you know in the links of my Facebook group page how to identify which Cricut machine you have. But simply Googling that you will find out. So I'll put all the links to everything, as I said, in the description part. I'll take the time to follow my own link to open up LibCutter. So you'll come to this page and you're going to go to the one on the left which says free download. So just press that button and you'll find that it will download down the bottom here. Don't press on any of these, just click that close and then go down here and open up the download. This now brings you to the LibCutter setup wizard. Don't worry about the fact that it says scale 4, it's still the same process. So just press next and then next. Now here it will automatically put this in a folder for you. So there's no need for you to go in and search for the files and go and mess with them. Uh, don't do that because the majority of people wouldn't know how to do that. Alright, so you don't need to restart your computer. All you need to do is just close Shortcuts Lot 5 and then reopen. So I've just closed it and I'm reopening it again. Go to the cutter, my cutter, manage cutters, go to that drop down arrow and there you'll see Cricut. So that's what LibCutter has done to Shortcuts Lot 5. It has added Cricut to the drop down menu of the company and brand of electronic cutters. And they're all the cutters that Shortcuts Lot 5 can work with. So you're going to select Cricut add to the list and then done and that's all there is to it so thank you for taking the time to look at this tutorial and I hope this has helped you if you have any questions come on over to the group and um, let's help you from there all right bye for now